a simple solution to the ideal on off control to prevent the continuous cycling is by introducing the hysteresis mode so what is hysteresis mode hysteresis mode is when the controller has been given some tolerance to on and off slightly after the set value so for example let us introduce this del which is uh, representing the half of the hysteresis so if we look at the controller output we are going to set the controller output to maximum if the error is greater than del or when the PV is greater than sorry when the PV is less than del the controller output will be on same goes to P min the output P min will be given when the error is less than negative del or we can say when the PV greater than del the controller output will be off so let's look at the diagram over here so we have set value by solid line we have the positive del represented by dash line and we have negative del represented by dash line below here so now the PV is less than both uh, plus and minus del and also the set value so the output of the controller will be on state because the PV is less than del so the controller will remain on until the PV increase and go above the plus del then only the controller will be turned off so the controller will remain in off state until the process variable go down and becomes less than the negative del here so once the PV becomes less than the negative del the controller will start to turn on this is not similar to the ideal mode of on off control because the on off control will turn on and off when the process variable touches the set value but in hysteresis mode the controller will give more toleration it will turn on only when the PV go higher than the limit and it will turn on again when the PV lower than the lower limit in industries negative del and del are also known as the lower set point or lower SV and the del is known as the upper SV so by introducing this toleration the on off control or the manipulated variable will switch on and off less frequently as compared to the ideal case which in return will improve the lifetime of the 
final kontrol element. 